Hello you guys, this is Fun Automotive and in this video we're going to be installing some torch beam headlights. Thank you Sea Lights for reaching out to me and getting me some nice, nice 6000K LED high beam headlights. Um, not high beam, sorry, they're low beam headlights but they're the single headlight that does the high and low beam. It's, I don't know, kind of like a switchback. But anyways, it's going to be for the... RV, the E450 V10. Um, I'll show you guys exactly how to uninstall the headlights, taking them out, putting them back in. Just They're very easy. It's a dream. It's easier than my Jeep. It's easier than my wife's Jeep. It's just I've never seen a headlight that came out this easy. I don't know if all Fords are like this, but I know that this one is. So let's get to that video now. Okay, these are the headlights right here, as you can see. You guys seen in the beginning of the video. Very, very great quality, just like all the other headlights I've ever gotten. But these have to be some of the best that I've gotten. Very great quality headlights. Now, let me get to the headlight itself. You're going to have two tabs, I should say. Two tabs. And in these tabs, you just literally pull up. If it, they're a little forward, and then just pull them up. See? Up. Oops, I'm looking through the camera, sorry, and up. And look at this. The headlight just comes right out. I already unplugged it. Look at that. That is just as easy as one, two, three. <laughs> super simple, super easy, man. I have never seen a setup like that before. Where's that? Yeah, right in here. These clips come down. It goes right into the hole and then it locks them in from this groove sitting right there. There's a groove and it locks right inside of that groove. That's an that's a genius idea. I've never seen that on a headlight and I give Ford props for doing that to their headlights because it is super simple. We're gonna put these suckers in and we're gonna see just how bright they are. They got fans on the bottom. Super nice LED bright lights. Nice, it looks like an aluminum housing for it. Pretty dang nice. All right, now let's get to installing these. All right, you guys, let's take this out right now. This is the tighten screw, the lock-in screw. Now this should pop right out, there we go. See, there's the halogen, it's running halogens right now. These ain't bad, but they ain't great. Remove this top part, twist right off, and it pops right out, just like my Jeep Liberty. And then the locking mechanism goes into it, and then this comes right back on through into it, or over it, I should say, and then locks right in. Now you have the locking mechanism on it, and um, I don't think this, no, this looks too big to fit on the bottom. It might have not. I could have went that way, but hey, it's as easy as that. Now... Let's just line these the sucker up. That looks about it. Yep. Now let's lock it in. Lock it on in. Right there. Everything is nice and locked. Good to go. This light is really dirty. All right. Now, what we do is we line these studs right on in, just line them right up. There's uh, three of them, one here, one here, one down here. But first, before you do any of that, you gotta plug the thing in, obviously. So let's get that in, and clip. Okay, now, let's get this headlight in. All right, come over here. All right, once you get them all in the holes, you have to match it up now. You'll, you'll see a groove. Once you find that groove, you gotta move the headlights slightly until you find that groove. And then that side's locked. And let's see this side, and that's locked. Now, headlights in there, nice and well. All right, you guys, that's the finished product right there. Very, very bright, bright, bright headlights. 
Let me show you guys. That is far. That is very far. And it is pitch black out here. And this lights up everything. Very, very bright. I am very pleased with these headlights. Very good. You can hear the fans inside of them kicked on just now. I don't know if you can hear that. But man, these are bright. Wow. I think these are brighter than my Jeep headlights that I had. Man. Well, I like them a lot. I really do. Alright, well, I hope you guys liked the video. Again, this is Fun Automotive, and uh, thank you to the people who sent this off to me to get these going, because I really needed some good, good headlights, good quality, good quality, quality headlights for the RV. The halogens that were in there weren't even matching. There were two different brands, two different type of halogens, and they were garbage, garbage, garbage. Did not like them. I had to use the brights when I'm going down the 60. Uh, because there's no street lights out there. It's just pitch black. So uh, these are going to light the way for me <laughs> Completely as you could see they're going to light the way for me and um, Get me to where I'm needing to go safe. So again, this is fun automotive and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye